Alright guys, what is up? I am back with another video and a good video. Is this a good first bike? The answer is hell yeah. But there is a but. So make sure you stick around for the entire video so you hear that. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you leave the video. Oh my god, I can't even talk. So, uh, remember to make sure to like the video. Like the video, man. It just kind of helps you get out there, get in the algorithm. Radio. Hello, my friend. I love it. Just a pepper the throttle. Somebody go. Come on. Chill out, man. Hmm. 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 I still record. I do record. And this is my uh, VCR record. Is it nice? I would recommend you do have a little bit of experience before you get it. You know, it doesn't even have to be your bike, man. Just learn. Learn. You know, just the basics, man. I wouldn't say you want to just learn from scratch on this. It doesn't take a ton of experience, but it does take discipline and just being smart. You can't go out there and hit it all the fucking time. This bike can handle way more than you can give it, you know? So you just got to basically respect it, man. Just open my visor, but yeah. Just got to have some respect for it, man. It's a fast-ass bike. I would say this bike is good if you're responsible because it's reliable it looks cool it's it's fast obviously it's not a 1000 but it's still fast this thing's fast enough to kill you man this is plenty fast for the road and that's where i would say the speed and everything is not a beginner level entry bike but if you respect the bike you should be fine but like i said i would recommend you having a little bit of uh, any kind of motorcycle experience, but just so you understand how sensitive the throttle is, you know, you just need to understand that, because I'd I hate for you to get on here and you just flip the shit, you know, like I've seen that happen so many times. You, you can start out on this bike, I guess, if you have no experience. I would not recommend that. Let me put it like this. When you're 16 years old and you get your license, is it a good idea to get a, a sports car or a performance car for your first car? No, it's not. And I actually did get a performance car for my first car, and guess what happened? I put it in a ditch. Multiple times, actually. New riders have the problem where they don't have a, a sense of a, the throttle. You know, you kind of just get on it. It's so sensitive and you can just go, man. Have you ever seen, I'm sure there's, there, I'm sure you've seen it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube of people whiskey throttling their bike. Like, first time rider, whiskey throttles bike. Like, I, I know you've seen that before. And that's the nice thing about a bike, man. You can just do shit like that. Other bikers out, baby. Is that an STI over there? Oh yeah, it is. I better hop off the parkway before I get myself in trouble, man. Yes, sir. Man, this thing sounds so fucking good. Yeah, only 80, man. Only 80 because, uh, or not, I didn't even hit 80, actually. I hit, like, I hit the speed limit. But, uh, here, I cracked my helmet a little bit. I'm starting to learn you don't want to, like, have it all the way up and like this. And I don't want to have it all the way closed when I'm going slow. It's probably, like, right here. You can't go out and ride like Jixer, bruh. All right, we're not all Jixer, bruh. That guy is the craziest dude I have ever seen on YouTube, like, as far as, like, motorblowing. That dude has lost his damn mind. 
uh, I redid my moto blog setup so my mo my audio should be like much more crisp I'll talk about that more in another video I'll show you my new setup and everything the 600 cc class man it's they're uh, it's kind of dying like they don't make the r6 anymore oh this is kind of dangerous but uh they don't make the um r6 anymore they, they discontinue that and they discontinue the cbr as well so what makes this a good first bike it's a good first bike because it's it's just really reliable you really can just ride it and not do shit to it and uh, i explained in the last video why you would want something like this and not an older gixxer just the simple answer is these are way more reliable but yeah man i think if you're responsible if you're responsible you got to be responsible because it's easy to get on these things get jacked up with your buddies you know especially the people this bike attract are young like guys you know like people my age it's bad enough having one 25 year old on here imagine when you get like five or six of them together i don't know what it is man everybody checking out my new setup or something Brand new Chevy with a left kit. Better a new up in it. But uh, yeah, it has some modes and it, you know, it, can, it tames the bike. It doesn't have any like ABS or any of that shit. It's just literally a bike, two wheels and brakes. And the throttle, of course. Yeah, man, this is a good ass first bike. And if you're going to go super fast, that's kind of on you. Like, I, that's just kind of like you, you can't do that, you know? I, I literally do the craziest moto vlogger I have ever seen in my life probably is Jixer bro that guy is like he didn't even care about his life dude that guy just dogs it everywhere he literally just goes on the highway and just hits it like non-stop but anyways that is gonna wrap it up for this video guys I hope you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like on the video leave a comment if you're feeling so nice I'll see you in the next one make sure you subscribe that'd be that'd be pretty cool too man